Okay, guys, say it. Did you say welcome to another edition of Room 3428, you doofus? Okay, I'd like to say thank you to Andy and to Stephanie for helping me with my intro. Um, we tried, but obviously didn't do very good at it. Um, I'm going to dive right in. I did not get a chance to record stuff earlier in the week, so it's down and dirty. And Everybody say hello to Clancy! <laughs> okay. How do we pamper ourselves? I think my life is pretty much my pampering. I don't have a particular thing that I do. I guess a massage every once in a while if I'm really feeling like I need to have something special I might do a massage. Um, a realistic goal in life, I think it's really funny Kim that you asked that question because I really did achieve my goal which was to become a director of human resources fairly young. I was in my early 30s when I pretty much achieved that goal and yeah as often happens when you achieve a goal I kind of got there looked around and went, now what do I do? And it really didn't make me as happy as far as I thought it would. Um, and it really wasn't until I figured out that I couldn't put all my bags, my bags, <laughs> all my eggs in the career basket, and that I had to have some kind of balance going on between work and family and the things that I enjoyed to do. I'm so glad that you want us to read the last lecture, Lizzie. It's something that I've been wanting to read. I had seen the guy who um, did the last lecture on a television show a few months ago. I was so incredibly touched and impressed with him. I'm really looking forward to reading that. So, like Andy, I've already gotten it. I just haven't read it yet. So, um, it's something that I'm hoping to do over this weekend. Although, I have to do Wizard Quest reading group for this weekend. So, yeah. Go me. Um, and Andy, I'm so thrilled that you finished Relic Quest. I'm always so eager to hear how guys interpret my books. Um, I'm glad to hear you liked it. I'm really glad to hear you liked it. I think you'll really like Barrier, too. I think Barrier will make you laugh, so let me know how that goes. Okay. Uh, and you wanted to know the one thing, person, or whatever, that you love to hate. Um, thing that I love to hate. See, I have a problem with love to hate because that implies that you're really relishing the fact that you hate them. I'm sure I've got things that I hate. I mean, obviously we all hate Voldemort, but things you love to hate. Yeah, I'm going to have to think about that one. I did ask you guys what it is that, when it is that you know that you're an adult, and I really liked a lot of your answers. And I'm going to share with you mine. I, I realized I was an adult when I could admit that I made a mistake, own up to the mistake, and move on. And that was particularly in work settings. Um, although I do also do it in you know my personal life. If I make a mistake with my friends, if I screw up, if I screw up with Clancy, if I screw up with my kids, I, I try to be you know man enough to step up and say I screwed up, I made a mistake, and then move on. Um, so I think that for me was the defining point. So I look forward to seeing everybody next week. I love you all platonically. And I'll see you then.